It's Luce, part 27 of 30. So we're back to exploring today. What if you want to run a business that is sustainable or socially um, what's the word? responsible? God, my memory. I'm creating. Maybe those things are important to you. I mean, they're important to us all, okay, but there are varying levels. So let me explain. In my business, it was important to me that I use local products. I live in Guernsey, my product is based here. We have an incredible, uh, incredible Guernsey cows that make butter. So I use Guernsey butter most of the time because it tastes great, it's very yellow. If I'm doing a cake that um, requires it to be lighter on the outside or not affected by colour, you know, you put blue with yellow and it goes green. Sometimes I do use a, a Nordic, uh, Danish butter because it's lighter in colour. But for the most part, I use Guernsey butter. I use eggs that are sourced from Guernsey that are free range. Um, and so that's kind of social, sustainable. These are little things, they're not top of my list, um, but they are important. And so those are the sorts of things that I've considered explored. Um, when it comes to the equipment that I use, there are some things, you know, I'm running a business that I do get from the internet because I buy them in bulk and they're cheaper. But there is a shop locally that supplies all sorts of cake decorating tools, including the paint that I use, um, the cake boards, the boxes, all of that stuff. So I shop locally for the majority of my stuff. Now here's a cool little thing as well, because there's added value in that. It's not only supporting local, but one of the ladies that works in there used to be a cake maker. Well, she still does a bit. So she knows a lot of stuff and she did different things to the things I do. So when I go in, I'm not just buying things and, you know, thank you very much. Here's the money for that. I have projects sometimes and I'm, she blessed, she just not blessed. Thank you. She stands there and listens to me go, oh, bloody hell, I'm off to be in Cuba. I'm doing this and I need that. How am I going to, you know, what would you do? There's added value in me going into this shop. So not just the financial transaction, something to think about actually added value. When we're talking about value in part 21, maybe 24. Um, yeah, something to consider. Now there's a broader um, sort of remit to this as well, because, and I've mentioned before, my Monday mornings start with me. I volunteer at the GSPCA, the animal shelter. I go and walk the dogs for a couple of hours every week because I felt in the midst of working, spending time with my family, a responsibility to give back to the community. And I had some time, you know, this is, um, there's nothing financial there. This is my time that I'm happy to commit to do something that I love that is useful to somebody else. Um, socially sustainable, in my view, you know, I'm not, there are times when you think, oh my goodness, you know, there are so many problems in the world, I wanna try and sol solve them all. Pick a few and do something. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yes. So the cakes that I do, they, they take a long time. They're priced accordingly. And we've talked about pricing and it's something that I'm still investigating. Um, it may not always be something um, financially viable for all, for all families over here. So I have a relationship with um, Guernsey Welfare who are supporting sort of lower income families. And once a month, you know, I'm in contact with this lady, she'll message and say, I have a family, their daughter's son is having a birthday party, could you make them a cake? So once, once a month, generally, you know, if she comes to me, that's, it's supporting community, it's this social responsibility. Um, so here's another example, Ch charities, are always looking for fundraising or for um, prizes. Again, I've talked before about setting boundaries. I know the charities that I would support personally. And so there's a danger that you'll end up making cakes for everybody. I have to draw a line and say, these are the charities that I would support. And therefore, if you want a prize or a cake, or what you know, whatever they donate, then I'm happy to do that. 
I had to draw, I had to draw a line, but it's still socially responsible. So whether it's directly as part of your business that you're using environmentally friendly products, um, you're sourcing locally, all these sorts of things. I mean, I can give you, these are examples that I've used in my business. So I wonder how, how up the list of priorities that comes um, or how that sits with your business. People ask me for vegan cakes, which I can do, and they're still just as tasty. Is it something that I champion? No, I'm not a vegan. Love a bacon sandwich. Um, it's something that I can do, but I'm not setting myself out as a vegan cake maker. Somebody might, that might be your niche. That might be the thing that you're passionate about. For me, it's the whole sharing the skill that I have for whoever, whoever likes it or who, whoever, whoever wants it. So all these little things are worth considering. You know, as we get to part, what are we now, 27, I'm having different thoughts about things to explore. We'll see where we go with 28, 29 and 30. If you've got anything, maybe you are starting um, or in the midst of running a small business and you have a question, let me know. I've got, yeah, two of, I have an idea for part 30. We'll see. Um, but I, if you have anything, a question that you'd like to ask, let me know. I've got time. So, socially sustainable, responsible. It's something to think about, you know, I do, um, within the confines of what, what I see as, imp what I choose to focus on as important um, versus trying to solve everything. Anyway, food for thought, no pun intended. Oh, winky face, loose. Bye.